So this gives us a chance to practice reading and performing rhythms, which are going to come in handy in Creative Project 1 and Creative Project 2. Uh, so we've given you a few different time signatures, and what I recommend is make it nice and big and get a metronome. There are hundreds of metronome apps on uh, any smartphone, or you can buy one at the music store. Uh, there's, I think there's also online ones. And set the beat nice and slow. I recommend about 50 or 60 beats per minute. If the metronome app lets you um, set the time signature, that's really helpful because it will show you the beat structure, the, the downbeat and the upbeats. And then um, get it going, take your time, breathe, relax, and then clap along with the rhythms that you see on the screen. It also can help to uh, say the beats out loud. So I'll demonstrate that first part. I'll, I'll set the metronome going and I'll say the beats as they go along. So here is two, four. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So I'm gonna say that as I clap. Now you'll notice that uh, in the beginning of measure three, there's a tie. So that note at the end of the tie, at the right side of the tie, is not performed, it's silent. Here goes. One, two, 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 one, two. There you have it. Let me do that one more time. So you'll notice the clapping happens on the notes that are note that are written here. I'm going to uh, uh, this time withhold the uh, talking and just the, just do the clapping along with the metronome. Hold. There you have it. Now I'm going to change my metronome to 3-4 for the next section. Now notice that there are three beats per measure, like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. 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 There you go. Those sixteenths near the end are a little tricky. I might even set my metronome slower. Let's try that. Let me get it down to about 50 beats per minute here. Two, three, one, two, go. One, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, and one, two, three. Now I have to confess to a little inaccuracy there. When there's long beats with nothing happening, it's actually hard not to rush a little bit. And then when I got to the 16th notes, I wasn't quite spot on. And that's okay if you're not exactly spot on. My performance was good enough. Yours will be too. And you'll do great. Now we'll try 4-4 four, four time and 6-8 time after that. So in 4-4 four, four time, Quarter note gets the beat, four beats per measure, and I'm gonna set my metronome nice and slow. 
something like this, so that I'm ready for those 16th notes coming up. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. 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 Now you can do it slower than that. Please feel free. Uh, that felt a little rushed on the sixteenths. Um, notice that with the final whole note, I held it out for all four beats. You can't hold the clap, but I counted out all four beats because that is how long the note actually is. You can't shortchange the full duration of that whole note. Now let's move on to 6-8 time. And remember, with 6-8, it's not six beats of one eighth note each. It's actually two beats of one dotted quarter, aka three eighth notes per beat. And so what that, it has a really different sound, something like this, one and a two and a one and a two and a, has this kind of rocking swinging sound to it. So with that in mind, I'm gonna set my eighth notes quite a bit faster um, so that my uh, dotted quarter beats don't sound insanely slow. So let's try this. So one and a two and a one and a two and a. So the beat is actually still quite slow. It's something like this. One, two, one, two. But that's going to give me nice, comfortable space to, to get this right. So here goes. One and a two, ready, go. One and a two and a 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 one and a two and uh. So you'll notice that, uh, again, I held out that dotted half at the end to its full value of two full beats. Now, just for one last thing to get it a little bit more flowing and without the distraction of me saying the beats, I'm going to perform it one more time a bit faster with just the clapping so you can hear the uh, rhythm coming through. And I'm going to leave out the metronome this time as well. So it's going to go like this. So that has a kind of 6-8 flow to it. And there you have it. This is a method you can follow for these exercises. Feel free to practice as much as you want. And of course, create your own rhythms. That's even better. Then uh, you really start to get a feel for all the different ways that each of these time signatures can, uh, can feel with different note values, uh, filling them in. Each, each one kind of has a different character. So have fun with it, relax, breathe, take as many tries as you want, and enjoy.